You're welcome to Tea Time, where we update you on the biggest entertainment stories, while myself and my co-anchors dissect and analyze, and analyze them for you. With me at the delectable Ife All My and Any Baby. What's good, guys? Hi, Eddie. Yeah. TGIF! Yeah. Woo! 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 Who's happy? Who's, who's as happy me. as me? Uh, like, I usually sure? woke up with a smile on my face, like, Friday. Friday. It doesn't feel like Friday, though. It does. It does? It does. It does. It does. Oh, Lord. <laughs> like, Friday hasn't felt this way in a long time. Oh, wow. I still feel like I have work tomorrow or something. Uh, definitely. There's still work. Down. But when you know you don't have to be up so early, mm. you're still working tomorrow, but you won't be, as, you won't be yeah. up as early yeah. as you would be Monday mm. to Friday. So, mm. yeah. Yeah, let's do I think it's also because I don't have any concrete plans. Like you. Well, where are you going? Are you going home? No, no, no. You're mm -hmm. staying. You're, still, you're gonna be around. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Oh, okay, I'm okay. Coming yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll bring you personally. <laughs> How about you? What's your plan for the weekend? Mm. Same old. Just stay at home. Netflix as usual. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no Black Friday, so there's nothing we can do about that. Oh, true. Mm. Who so would this bit. joke <laughs> stop for me? Babe, anyway. until you update the joke where you have something yeah, else that you're doing. That I just bought. Do you understand? Oh, how about yeah. movies? I know you like watching movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Omo Ghetto? Yes, no, I like I've also seen it, but I've seen a music video, like, though. Mm -hmm. The hype over, I mean, it's like the most gross movie in Nigeria's history. Have you um, seen it? No, I haven't. I went to the cinema to see it, but it was sold out. Wow. wow. And I had to watch Ineka and the something. And I couldn't finish it. It was so oh. bad. I left halfway. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm telling you. Yeah, I said, oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's, Plus, that's, the AC in that place was just too much. So I was like, yeah, that's why you left. Between the AC and uh, even if, if I liked the movie, I would hold myself. I was just like, mm. okay. Yeah, this is not working. And sadly, there was no one to cuddle up with. So. There was actually quite enough bodies around me, but <laughs> I still, I was just bodies. like, mm, mm. bodies. Already, me. Options you know, are good, you know. Oh, hey, yeah, video, fuck, ma. video, <laughs> boy, <laughs> Did I learn that lyrics? If it's over for you, I know. Ah, I know. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to that day for mm. real. I am mm. really looking forward to that day. But let's move on. Like I said, uh, today is going to be a whole lot of more yeah. vibes than um, you know than the usual. We're not going to bore you with all those stories and arguments and dissecting and ingesting and all of that stuff. Thank We're you. just going to be chilled. So just keep that relaxed vibe. Get ready for your Friday mm -hmm. to be turned because we're going to make it really turned for you guys. So comedian Ali Baba berates Nigerian. For that, for their hypocritical nature, the comedian was reacting to a post that reads, "When it comes to religion, Nigerians fight for God, but when it comes to their rights, they leave it to God to fight for them." Reacting to the post, Ali Baba wrote on Instagram, "The person who wrote this deserves a national honor. When their man of God wears purple, it's royal. When I wear it, it's feminine. When their imam says God is not in Mecca, but in our heart, it's okay. But when I say it, I'm attacking Islam. When their man of God says, if you pray without working, you will be broke." He heard from God. When I say the same thing, I am an antichrist. When the man of God is caught in an ant entanglement, he is only human. Now, who are we to judge? But when it's celebrities, the companies using them as, a, as brand influencers must drop them. Same person who is carrying Islam or Christianity on their head, when it comes to time for emergency, will not go to their fellow religious members. At that time, and it goes on and on and on and on. And I'm sure you guys know Ali Baba has always been very vocal about societal issues. So what's your take on that? Yeah, go. Sure. I think religion is something we always stress on this table. Even the topic yesterday that we addressed, it shows that, okay, yes, religion plays a, like a vital role in the lives of some people and it takes the way they act and the way they make decisions. So about what you first said about, uh, Alibaba first said about, um, we... You mistake me for Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> I, I just have to correct that. <laughs> okay, about what you first said about... Um, why do, why do I look as if I'm saying Ife? What you said about... Um, what does it look the, like? Or you're actually uh, saying Ife? I'm not saying Ife. <laughs> that's what I was to say. Um, about we uh, people using um, religions over your rights. I actually encountered something like that. I remember talking to one of my mom's close friends. Hmm. Um, someone just jilted her. She bought one land like this. She paid for it. Before yeah. you know, the person that she bought it for said, um, she's, not, uh, she's not getting it again. That she cannot get Yay. her money. And we're telling this woman that, like, okay... Get the police mm. to get, let them be no, involved with everything. God. Literally, that's what she said. Like, you know what? All the it's all as if you were there. I was there. <laughs> <In> spirit, <laughs> you know, like, leave it to God. Like, God will take control. Me and my mom were just looking at each other like this. Like, 
Which one is leaving to go do something about it? And that really disturbs me. Like, mm. fine, I'm not saying that you can't leave some, I'm not saying that you can't leave some things to mm. God, though, but they're just something like you have to take control over. Mm. Like, imagine you wanted to pass a test now, don't read about it and just say God will take control. It just mm. seems ridiculous to me. And that's what I want to stress about is like, fine. So many people, they see their um, religious leaders as someone that can do no wrong. Mm. That no matter what they do, mm. that even if you challenge their They're spiritual human. leader, mm. they will attack you. Like, how can you say that they, daddy? As they like, remind you that Jesus Christ also saying that. Come on, they are human beings. <laughs> <laughs> they are human beings. They make mistakes like us. Like, come on. Let, let's just have a clear mind, like religion, and let's know what, what is the right thing in front of us. I'm so being. I, I remember religious. one time where it was actually on YouTube. I was just looking around, going on YouTube, mm -hmm. searching for stuff. I don't remember what I was trying to learn. Because um, that's my master class. If I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not about to pay anybody. But I remember this guy teaching. I forgot what he was teaching about now. Maybe it was digital marketing or something mm -hmm. like that. And he had a face cap on that said, um, um, God is a design. Mm -hmm. And. I thought about that cow for so long because I tried hmm. to understand what that meant. Um, and it makes sense. It makes a lot of As sense. In the moment you said it, it started making it, a lot like, of sense to It me. makes a lot of sense. And with religion, every religious person is like that. They themselves have created that design. Hmm. Have you ever tried to talk to someone... Sure. I was on Clubhouse and they were talking about if the Bible is... It's not is actually a Clubhouse, it's an app. Yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah, a app is called In case you don't know, it's called Club. Because yeah. so they start thinking you're a club. <laughs> <laughs> that was something, but... <laughs> that was something, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, Clubhouse is an app that you can have mm -hmm. conversations. And in the room, the name of the room was titled is the Bible Anti-Feminist or mm -hmm. whatever. So people came in, ah, I know that God has given me strength, I'm a woman, I have a voice, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Another lady came and said, but, I mean, if you look at the Bible, there's all these, there's no, there's no um, infidel man. It's always the woman that has a problem. Look at the marriage, whatever. The Bible says that we should keep mute and all of that. And this lady said to me, this is, I'm trying to give a good example of what a design looks like. This lady said to her, as in like, as a response to her that, please, I, 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 I urge you people not to talk about marriage in this particular situation. That let's remove marriage from the, like everything that the Bible has said about marriage. Okay. Let's remove it to have this conversation about whether so or let's not, leave that aside. let's leave that aside okay. because marriage is a different institution and that, you see, that makes no sense. Because the one thing that shows the relationship between man and woman in the Bible, you mm -hmm. want us to remove it. The reason why they're doing that is because their design has to fit. Mm. And for it to fit, you have to remove no, oh, knowledge. Oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> today, you're working. Okay. Already. What do you mean today? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you only feel like you can for you. We've given up on the Go on, please. Go on. Take, over, take, over. Take, over. take it, take it. Guys, so stop <laughs> now. <laughs> Ah 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 yeah. You are you are that boy. Go on, I'm feeling even me. I'm feeling you. I can imagine. Oh guys. Go on, go on, go on. Anyway, so I think I think that we all create our design. Um, I'm not going to say that religious people are the only people um guilty of that. Have you ever dated a guy that you know makes no sense? But if you see when you're defending the guy, you say no 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 no. The reason why I beat me is because when he was younger, the dad used to beat him. Give her a round of applause again. So my point is, okay. he is absolutely right. And yeah. I think hypocrisy is something that is underlined in every single person. Mm -hmm. And we all create designs. God in itself, especially because we are the ones thinking, not God himself. The fact that human beings are the ones that have to think we are corrupt, we are limited, and we are hypocrites. We all are. Mm -hmm. And there's just not, there's not, there, there isn't anyone who is human that has blood that can strive for perfection, which is what this is. If you're not going, I think like that for some things. I'm not going to lie. Like, if my friend does something wrong, I will want support. But if a stranger does it, I say, rip yes, them off. No, 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 no. So we are, we are all like that. Um, and it's, it's nice to be aware so that you caution yourself when it happens. But it would happen. True. For me, I just think Alibaba made um, the most sense. And I just think, um, basically, a lot of people, right, will 
definitely come for this and be like, yes, yeah, some battles are for the Lord and some are for man. But that is not true. Because not. when you see this same Christian casting yeah. and biting the demons in their family, in their household, so, she's like, die, die, go, fight, yeah, go, die, go, yeah, go. So you have so much strength. But when somebody comes to bully you, or when somebody comes, you say, ah, it is for the mm. Lord. But you have the strength to do, die. Throw those punches at those people. Mm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's the same fight. It's for your right. Because God is not going to come down from heaven to come and help anybody. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a saying that says, heaven helps those who help, help themselves. themselves. So you have to begin to help yourself before you start thinking, God. And then at the end of the day, when it doesn't work out, you begin to blame God and mm. question God. Meanwhile, you could have fought for yourself. Mm. You could have gotten things done yourself. So religion is something that has always um, held us back and I think it's time we all wake up to the reality. Yeah. Wake up and smell the coffee. Mm -hmm. So, um, yes, mm. that's about it. But like I told you guys, man, we're going to be all chilled. See, we don't really have time for die, stress, <laughs> die, stress, hey. die, hey. stress. Hey. So, hey. we will be hey. playing a game. <laughs> so, stay tuned as I'll be playing a game with my co-anchors and this game is actually for all of us. We'll be answering never have I ever questions and then yes, I'm really interested in this one so maybe this is our opportunity to really get to know in your last, you know? Mm. Uh -huh. Maybe we'll know other <laughs> things. Mm. Okay. I think I know you to an extent. Yeah? Small. Okay. I said to an extent. Yeah. How can I can I know you finish? No, you I say you finish the course, no, no finish now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're still new. Yeah. Yeah, we're still getting to know you, you know? Okay. So we'll probably find out. All right, so the first question is never have I ever cheated on the test. What are we supposed to do? Sip your tea. If, ah. you, if you have. If I, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't speak to you with us. Come on. Come on. Excuse me. Come here. I went to private Come second. Yes, though. Lift it up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You have, Abby. Thank you. We all have. Mm. Tell us when you cheated. Ah, what am I starting? <laughs> <laughs> you sipped first. <laughs> well, okay, I think it was a um, hundred level, yes. Yes, doing an uh, SMS test, a master's. So I'll, I, I just looked at the question like, you know, when you look at the question like, <laughs> <laughs> I do have the same story. <laughs> You'll be like, did they teach us? Like, Am I in the right class? <laughs> Sir, I think there's a mistake. You were like, yeah. It's not a mama. So I never, you didn't teach us this one, no. I was just confused. I was like, what was my guys? just like, and I was just, I was like, thank you very much. Thank you. That's it. Okay, yeah. so I think I've been cheating for a long time. Ooh. I mean, with math. The one with where math, you. With yeah. yeah. The mm -hmm. one where you stretch. Mm -hmm. And like dub, not even the one that's cooperated with. Like you might not even want to cooperate with me, but um, uh, I used to share because I'm like, what am I even looking at? That's <laughs> like, and I started to do, you know, try to like memorize the shades. So because you know those multiple mm -hmm. questions, one. So yeah, I, I used to copy. I just look at it and I say, okay, D A C B A C B A. Right, I used so to do that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, I want to give a shout out to a special somebody that really helped my life. Well, maybe now I'll still be writing work. <laughs> 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 but uh, my son name is Oshinke. She's Linda Oshutade. She's married now. Mm. This girl practically opened a maths paper for me because wow. I copied wow. them. So I owe that girl because hmm. I got a B. For somebody oh, wow. Yes, thank you. I'm a good copier. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wow. I wish I had that person. Who... You know, the girl helped my life. Mm. I get wow. to be like up down to diagram. I copied. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How can you copy a diagram? I mean, eh? the, the only reason why I don't feel so bad about this answer is that we're all in the media and math isn't really something, something we, we need. need like Apart from when we're counting our money, yeah. oh, that money must be complete dollar. Can you plus and minus? But when you start to tell us where how the barrier is um, moving. <laughs> Pythagoras theorem, am I? Let's calm down, please. Well, Yo. thank you very much, Linda Oshintadi. God bless you <laughs> and your new one. Yes. So, um, next question is, never have I ever jumped over a fence? Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Never. Mm -mm. Oh, Are you wow. serious? How do you... Why, why did you need to jump off a fence? <laughs> yes, I need to know that story for you. Well, why, for me, why, I know. why are you jumping off a fence? Oh, well. My, well. Ah. Mommy, I <laughs> think <laughs> Anyhow, my mom was like, I shouldn't visit one of my friends like this. So she left the house. I now quickly jumped across the fence to visit my friend. We're watching Oh, wow. Movie. I just said, Eniola. I think you cannot pass the gate. I just jumped back. It's oh, like, yeah. wow. Is yeah. your fence not tall? It, it is. 
Anyway, I, you're tired. My leg. Right. Yeah. So, my leg. So. I had bruises, but ah, oh, the wow. water is actually <laughs> touch me. Okay, so I've been to um, private secondary schools, private okay. universities, private this, private that. So, yes, there was this night that was craving suya so, so much. Hmm. And there was you no, know, that was when we built our. I, I went to Keller Event International Secondary hmm. School, by the way. And, um, you know, we moved to our permanent site, which is, was also in Magodo. So they turned the whole place to an hostel, to a hostel, I mean. And um, the security guys. Yeah, I remember to, they did that. I don't yeah, know why the, they did the that. The hostel guys, the security guys and the drivers that used to carry the borders to school mm -hmm. normally, okay. they moved them somewhere. So they, you, you remember that yellow bus? Did you yeah, use that, that, that yellow bus? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they. Okay, we're not supposed to. <laughs> yeah. Sanitized. Oh, no. yeah. So, okay. um, so the thing is, there was nobody to sign. I was craving suya so bad. I knew it was just like two streets away. Oh my, I jumped it. Yeah, got Are you. you I jumped just to go get suya. Love hmm. of suya in this life. Well, here we are. We shall jump. The I think fence. my head to not allow me, but. Let's <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next question. Um, never have I ever cried over someone. Uh uh Of course. Am I going uh -uh. to finish this thing today? You've not? I'm hard like that, come on. Cry. It's fair, that's it's a fair. lie. It's fair. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a lie. I cried over. I, okay, let me start the story. I cried over my abusive ex. She made mm. me cry. Not only did she abuse me physically, she also abused mm. me emotionally. So. Yeah. I think I cry very easily. So I don't even have one story. I feel like I've cried for a lot of. I don't think there's anyone that I've loved that I haven't cried for or cried with. Have you cried or cried, <laughs> no, that was. So you didn't love me. Uh -uh, love us. <laughs> Um, <laughs> wow. Okay. I mean, when I never have I ever like loved the <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure yeah, you had that one. You down your tea. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I, I cry. I cry very often. Um, if you if if I feel overwhelmed, even if I see you cry, like I cry. So for me, wow. crying is not a big. It's not a big thing. But I've cried for everybody that I've dated. How about you? If it ends, I, I'll cry. I think mine is quite similar to you. Mm. Um, I cried over my first boyfriend. I think that was the first time I actually, and last time I actually cried over a guy. A man. A really? Man. All right. Okay. All right. Bye. So moving on. Um, never have I ever gotten into a fight. What kind of fight? A physical. Physical fight. <clears throat> physical fight. If they beat you up, is that does that count? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, does that count? Does it count? Because I didn't fight, but they beat you. Okay. Yeah. Ah, my seniors in Caleb beat me. Eh? Wow, you need fight back. I don't okay. I don't fight. I've back. never gotten into a fight. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Ever. But why was your hand? Um, Thank you. I was the one that day. Beating. I don't fight. I beat. Drink your tea. Drink your tea. I beat. I don't I fight. Beat that cup up. There's a difference between when you. Do you Drink know what fight? Your fight tea. is a struggle. Okay. Do you know that effortless? You know. One uh, shoes. Uh -huh. You feel me? Uh -huh. Just knock one and they sleep. And when you want to tell someone about it, I got into a fight. Let's no. Okay. I got into a If beat. I drink your tea, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyways, I've never been in a fight for real, guys. I've never ever Why been Why was in a your fight. hand swollen at time? Didn't you punch Thank somebody? You. Yeah, punch uh -huh. somebody doesn't mean I fought. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I didn't fight. There's a different. Can we check the dictionary meaning of fights, please? Okay. So, don't when there's two people are engaging. So, if you beat up someone, you didn't fight. The it's person. not a fight. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not a fight. Okay. I've never you, been did in you a tell your story? No. Nah. What happened? Share with us. Okay. Body knows. No. Uh, my senior, she was trying to tell, uh, like, bully me, like, go and wash my clothes. I'm like. I'm not going to do it next thing. She just slapped me. Yay. Everywhere. Everywhere. They just cleared the room for the four of us on the ground. Uh, did you beat her up? What do you think? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> never have I never snuck out of the house. Never have I ever snuck out of the house. Oh, I have. For sure. Yeah. No, no. I've never had a reason to. I think uh, I have very yeah, understanding yeah. parents. I just tell them, I mean, even when you're not coming back home, you just tell them and they just understand. I think I broke that. My brothers, they have this luxury. I think mm -hmm. I was the one who had the luxury. Mm, though. No, I have. I mean, I, I didn't even do it at home. I'm going to think of it. Maybe if I told them that, oh, I mm -hmm. wanted to, they would have allowed. But I feel like I was doing it too much. I like mm. boys, though. Hey. <laughs> When I was younger, I like, ah. Uh, so yeah, I, I like voices. Like, <laughs> I love doing voices. Like, like you. <laughs> well, when I was a teenager, it just it was just so exciting. And I didn't, school, I didn't live here. So every time I came back, there were piles of people that would want to see me. And for some reason, mm. girls don't really care if I've come or if I've not come. It's the men that would be mm. like, that where like, are you? Woo. So every time I tell them the first weekend, second day, third day, I started to feel somehow. So that other time, I was like, let me just go really quickly and come back and I don't have to tell them. But they caught me anyway. They caught you? Ah, oh, nice wow. life and direct. It's like, what are you doing? Enter the house. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so never have I ever cheated on my partner. 
Hmm. What kind? Huh? What cheating kind of is there, cheating? there's not there's no type of cheating that you want to. So cheating is cheating. Whether it's emotional cheating or physical, yeah, physical cheating. whatever, it's mm. cheating. Mm. Yes, I have emotionally. I have to. This one just going to new relationship. She doesn't want to spoil it. It's okay. Mm. <laughs> Never have I ever been sent out of class. I was a dollar in primary school. Mm. Try. Ah, when they say zero to three. If you, they will say, those of you that got ten, stand up, stay by this side. You'll see those guys. I hate that. Eight, they, that. That's they will awful. stand up. Seven, they will stand up. Six, they will stand up. Five, they will stand up. Five, three, I'm still sitting. Two, I'm still sitting. You see two over ten. In primary school, I was a serious. I picked up in secondary school, actually. I was a serious dollar. So the, I got to a point where there was this teacher that just didn't like me because she hmm. knew I was going to. You just say, if I go out, What's go out. What's the no, it wasn't matter. I can't. I in primary it school, it didn't, it didn't matter what subject it was. I was just dull. I just didn't know it. Or I just didn't care. I didn't care enough. So it was when I got into Caleb and my GS, I was fire. I was best um, art class student for three years in a row from okay. SS1 to 3. Yeah, yeah, I was always the best art class. So I'm bragging on live television. Argue your ancestors. Come out if you can call me out. I <laughs> said it. <laughs> and because some people say it's a lie. You. <laughs> It's not a lie, it's a true. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been sent out of class? Uh, yeah, in uni. Mm -hmm. Why? You know when you come late to class and the lecturer is already there. You guys, go, get out of my class. But I think that was kind of a norm. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. If you're late to class, they will... Yes, and in my school, if you're late to class and the lecturer is already inside, they send you back. Like, just leave. I'm serious. You, you must get to class. The class that the I paid for. Even if I decide to do five minutes, it's my, I've paid for that class. Ah, ah. Not in Nigeria. Not in Nigeria, man. You are wasting their time. <laughs> Uh, you, are paying, you, you are wasting your parents' money. What really paid me about money. the situation? Because I was trying to crawl. But you know where you are told? How can like, you crawl? You? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Even your crawling is taller than some people in your class. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So never have I ever stolen money from my... Ah, this one. That's so shameful. From, but yeah, from, uh, from parents. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. We all love <laughs> Sorry, mom. Um, Sorry, mom and dad. <laughs> As is, you're I the only mom. Yeah, Sorry, mom and dad. I, mm, I try not to, and I feel really bad. But sometimes just really looking. Thinking day. about it is my best right too. I really took my best right. Is still <laughs> when you tell her at the end of the day? Yes. Ah. It is still stealing. <laughs> it's as long as you have the permission. <laughs> this is girl. Like <laughs> but like I said, it's our best right. Uh -huh. Is it really if it's stolen? Mm. It's our best right. I mean, it's not. It's not the worst person to steal from, but. Yeah. yeah, at least we never stole outside. Yeah. We kept, we kept we it. We home training. So, yeah, we had, yeah, we had home training. Exactly, that's the word. Home there training. There was one time I used to, in SA, I used to do this thing where, like, I'll go to a restaurant and I'll not pay. Ha. Huh. I swear. SA. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thank God you're alive. <laughs> okay. All right, so moving on. Never have I ever talked back at my parents. What is this? If I just want to make a, my test finished though. <laughs> never have I ever talked back at my parents. Of course. Ha. Huh. You don't? I don't think uh, I have. Oh wow! I don't you think I've talked back to my parents. Uh, mm, I'm, I'm that listening lefty. guy. I listen. I mm, just listen. You know it's like my mom. Do you know the mm. worst thing? My mom's punishment of talking is worse than when she actually lays you down on this table and whoops you. Mm. Do you understand? So you want to avoid talk back that would now um, prolong the talk True. because my mom would tell you your history. She would tell you how she conceived down. you, how she gave birth to you, how she struggled for nine months, how you came out. I, you see, you hear that history, you know that you're a stupid child <laughs> on top of it. Do you understand? Mm. So you just want to avoid that and you just want to listen and just say, okay, mom. I'm Except sorry. I'm very wrong. It will end and I think sorry. I carry that into my adulthood. I really, really do not talk back when I'm being chastised. <sighs> Hey. Like I'm the dread. total <laughs> opposite of that. Mm. Except I'm 100% mm. wrong. Once they start saying that, and then you did this, I'm like, no, mom, I didn't do that one. Actually, mm. what happened was I did this, you and know then you I did that. You carry that. Carry that about, your, you still do that. I still do it to you to do tomorrow. That I don't okay. know who is going to talk to me because I've, I've even met the president of but South do Africa. Do you think it's always necessary to try to make a point? It's, it's just my. You see, when it comes to being quiet, and if I have an opinion. Or more. I'll, I'll 
I'll say it. But I'll put in space, like, she'll be I'll yeah, say let's it. step back a little. Yeah. Let's slap onto. I mean, I, I, I don't feel like there's some people that I want to either tone it down for. Mm. Like, if I want to say 10 things, I will say one thing. But it's not my nature to have something to say and I don't say it. Even if it doesn't make sense, I'll still say that. You're not telling me, oh, what you said doesn't make sense. Eh, no, Allah. But I've said what I've said. We're fortunate. Right, um, and that is where we <clears throat> call this game part a wrap. But before we call it a wrap, final question. And this one, I think we'll ponder on it, and then after the music break, you answer it. Mm -hmm. Never have I ever fallen in love at first sight. But we'll be going on a music break because in that Friday spirit, all we want to do is vibe, and we'll be going on that break. And when we come back, they'll tell us if they have fallen in love. This one I said because I want them to actually think about it. So, yes. Mm -hmm.